Hello everybody, welcome to SciSparks. My name is Jordan with McWayne Science Center, and in today's episode, we are going to be exploring a nifty chemical reaction that happens between two substances. Be sure to stick around to the end, because things are bound to get explosive. Let's check it out. Let's begin by taking a close look at our reactants, calcium carbide and water. Calcium carbide is a solid substance produced in an electric arc furnace at extremely high temperatures. Calcium carbide has many uses in industry, such as the desulfurization of iron and producing light in old miners' lanterns. Today, however, we'll be using it to study its reaction with another chemical, water. Water is a powerful tool in science because it reacts with a lot of different things. In fact, check out one of our previous videos to where we reacted several pure metals with water. But today, I'm going to take some of my calcium carbide and add it to my water. Immediately, we can see some pretty interesting things start to happen. As we can see, we're getting a lot of bubbles. That means we're getting a gaseous product. But what gas? Well, it's a gas called acetylene gas. And that stuff just happens to be highly flammable. But what would happen if we captured all of that acetylene gas in a closed container? Well, to try it out, we're gonna use another highly scientific tool, a balloon. So I'm gonna add my calcium carbide to my beaker here and add a balloon on top. Now, that acetylene gas wants to spread out and expand and we can capture it in our balloon just like so. So now we have a lot of our acetylene gas trapped right here in this balloon. But let's introduce a flame to it and see what happens. Now, what if we were able to harvest that explosive force produced by the acetylene gas in an apparatus kind of like this? But first, I think we might need a little more space. Let's try it out. First, we're gonna add our calcium carbide. And then, the water. Then a little oxygen. And finally, a can. Now all that's left is to add a little heat. Let's end this episode with the bang. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Size Sparks. If you liked what you saw today, be sure to leave a like on the video or a comment down below. And if you want to stay up to date on all of the latest episodes, be sure to subscribe to the McWayne Science Center on YouTube or visit us at mcwayne.org. Thanks for watching again and until next time.